In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Iridium Extreme 9575 phones. These phones are the de facto standard of phones that people use in extreme adventures all around the world. The Iridium is the only network that is globally connected where I've literally made phone calls from the South Pole, from Denali, from Greenland, from pretty much everywhere that they're allowed to be used, by the way, and they work great. They actually don't work that great on Denali because the mass of the mountain is a problem, but should you or do you need to have an Iridium 9575 phone? Well, that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. I'll just hold one here. Now, the phone itself actually isn't too heavy. It looks like an 80s sort of phone where you plug it in and then you pick it up just like a house phone. But don't be fooled, this phone nowadays retails for almost $2,000 US. Let me fire up my scale and I'll show you how much this weighs. All right, the scale shows that the phone with a single battery weighs 8.9 ounces or 252 grams. So quite reasonable for being able to make a phone call from the South Pole. This phone has an extendable antenna which is six inches or about um, 15 centimeters tall. The whole phone and has this little flexible antenna where you have to flex the antenna so when you're standing up, it actually points straight up to the sky. It has all the things that you would consider necessary like a phone book mode and all this, but most often you just simply use this as a phone load up the phone numbers and dial away. Now one of the peculiarities of and satellite phones is, uh, let me see there, yeah, you can see the phone number is there and don't bother trying to call me because the phone numbers are disabled now, is that you have to get a SIM card from a satellite dealer. You can't go run down to your Verizon or AT&T or T-Mobile store. You literally have to order a SIM card from a specialized SAT dealer. I use satmodo.com. They were super good. They're located in San Diego. I have no sponsorship with them. I have no sponsorship with Iridium, but these phones are super, super great. Now, one of the things that people use with the satellite, the Iridium 9575 Extreme, is that you can actually connect the little charging pod to this, and in theory, you can connect a USB, see if I can get the angle right there, a USB mini to this, and when you cook that up to the bottom of the phone, I'll show you that here. Now, do mind, these are delicate. They're very, very touchy. It, uh, they work great, but they are touchy. So when you hook up the bottom to this, this is the charging unit, and then you have this charging block here, and then you have a charging brick. They come with uh, all sorts of world connectors, and it's got this little power adapter that you plug in if you have wall power. But when you are in remote environments, like, I don't know, Antarctica, say, you have to use the lighter adapter plug, plug it in here, just like that, pretty slick. And then you have to plug it into your lighter adapter socket on your solar panel cables because you have to have that, which means in order to run them, I had to carry solar panels to keep these things charged. Now, one of the problems, of course, is they take a long time to charge. They're very slow to charge. But the big problem is minutes on these things are expensive, upwards of three US dollars or three euros per minute. So they're crazy expensive. I had to buy a pack of 100 minutes for each phone with a service charge because my buddy Terry and I, we both had to carry one phone each in case we lost each other or something really bad happened. He had to have a phone and I had to have a phone. And so between the service charges and everything, we spent, oh gosh, it was almost $700 in minutes that we only used five minutes on the phone, which thank goodness, because we didn't have to worry about that. Now, of course, we both had to carry a spare battery as well, and these batteries are upwards of whew, almost $300 a piece, ouch. And the batteries back here, they're a little hard to take off, but I just wanna show you here. You have to twist this lock, pull it, and it 
like ugh, pries off, just like I showed you here. But one of the kickers is when you put this battery back on, you put the battery back on, you make sure the lock is out, you push it in, but then it gives you a warning. You have to press here to fully seat the battery so the phone will turn on. Now it also has a phone jack or ear jack here so you can plug in, uh, yeah, there you go. So you can plug your headset in there. It has a push to talk mode, which is pretty cool if you've got that set up. And you can also set up the SOS button if absolutely necessary, which we did. Now I say that they're very finicky because when I had solar charging going in my tent and a cloud would come over, the voltage would drop. These things started to act a little funny. Fortunately, they weren't damaged. Satmoto did a great job of updating software. You cannot update the software yourself on these. You have to send it into a reputable certified Iridium satellite dealer. And trust me, don't wait to the last second. Otherwise, you're gonna be next day airing these and they're expensive. So satellite phones are a great necessity, especially if you're a guide, you're going out in the bush and the wilderness for a long, long time. You might have your Garmin uh, Extreme where you can text message and everything, but there is nothing like being able to make a phone call to somebody and get the job done. So I definitely recommend if you're going out to extreme locations, a long, long ways away, there is no replacement, there is no substitute for the Iridium Extreme 9575. They're expensive, but trust me, they're worth it. And you do have to protect this antenna because it's got a little wire in there, but it's plastic. So if you sit on this thing and you break it, you are SOL. This does work through a tent, but that's about it. If you are under a cloud cover, it's okay. But if you're under heavy tree cover, this thing will not reach the Iridium satellites. You gotta be in a pretty clear sky. So that is something to consider. And again, two friends and a polar bear, we talk about that experience. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and ask me questions so I can give you ideas about sat phones and anything else you need to know. Thanks.